Hi there guys. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can use OBS Studio with Stage 10 to pull the feeds of guests within Stage 10 into OBS. And I'll demonstrate then a few applications of how that's useful. So let's jump into Stage 10. We can actually get away with using a free plan for this. So we'll skip the uh, camera setup as a director and this is the stage 10 studio uh, in the center we have our mixer right we have our destinations on the left we have our feed management so i'm going to uh, click on add a guest i'm going to copy an invite and for the sake of simplicity i am going to invite myself uh, i'll just create a name and i'll join with a camera i'll change my camera on joining to a webcam so a little webcam here and so this is what the guest sees currently we're not live so the guest has no sort of preview uh, and as a director I now have the guests feed a uh, little preview here in the top left we can download assets as well to help make the show more interesting and they'll load within a few seconds or we can upload our own custom ones but if we uh, drag in the guests webcam here and drop it in and then take it live so we're, we're not publishing to any sort of YouTube destination this is purely within the system uh, maybe I'll stylize it with a little bit of there we go uh, boom so now when we go to the guest the guest sees the output of the stage 10 mixer. So it's, it's really quite cool. You don't have to use OBS to produce a show with stage 10 and you can go live to YouTube, Twitch. Uh, you can record your broadcast all within the stage 10 studio. But let's say you want to do more than what stage 10 has to offer, or uh, let's start simple. Let's say you just want to record the individual guest feed um, what we can do is we can use obs to do that and it, we just need to click on this little hamburger icon of any guest uh, feed and click copy solo link now we can open up obs uh, here we go we have obs we can say create a browser source we put the stage 10 solo link for that particular guest into the URL. We set the width to 1920 by 1080. So the width 1920 and the height 1080. We click control audio via OBS and we leave everything else alone. We don't touch the CSS or the frame rate. We then hit OK and the video will take just a moment to load in. But what we have now is we have, um, let me just double check. There's the uh, the guest feed. And I'll just show you that the delay going into OBS via stage 10 is very, very low. Stage 10 is server-based. So unlike Video Ninja, which is peer-to-peer, -peer, uh, this goes through a server and you can have up to, I think, 30 solo links open per guest, if that makes sense. So if you have a guest, you can open this solo link 30 times before you hit the stage 10 limit on a loud uh, kind, kind of uses of this. But now I can hit record you'll see that we have audio and I am now recording uh, that guest feed. So if I'm doing a stage 10 show and I want to maintain high resolution copies of each uh, guest performing in stage 10, I can use multiple instances of OBS, one per guest to record them all. Okay. Uh, and you can open up multiple copies of OBS. Uh, like I have, um, I'm using OBS to record this all, for example, currently. 
Anyways, uh, so that's neat. Now, that's one use of this tool. Another would be, let's invite another guest in. Uh, Steve, I'll choose a camera mic. I'll change my camera this time to this little thing here. Now when we go into stage 10 again, the studio, we see that we have the new guest feed and I can always drag it in here and go live with it. The guests in the room see the output of stage 10, which is nice. But let's say I want to bring the second guest feed into OBS. Again, click this little hamburger icon, copy solo link. We go back to OBS and we say plus browser. We drop in our link, 1920 by 1080. Control audio via OBS. And now while this is loading, I'm gonna resize it. So we have these two video feeds side by side. Okay, so now I can go live to YouTube with this feed and I can go live to whatever I want also. Uh, or I can just host it for the guests in the room with a different mix. Okay, so this is a, a neat way to have um, OBS as the studio or stage 10 or the, as the studio or both, right? Uh, so not only can we record individual guest feeds, we can actually create a show in OBS and publish to YouTube or Twitch or to disk. And we don't need to use the stage 10 mixer uh, or the stage 10 platform at all uh, to do that. We simply are using stage 10 in this case as a guest management system of sorts. So that is um, pretty interesting. And, you know, we, we can record and do all that as well. Now, let's say we want the guests in stage 10 to see our OBS output. We can do that too. There's a little button in, in OBS called click. Uh, we can click called start virtual camera. And what that does is it turns the, the output of OBS into a, like a webcam source. So I can now go into stage 10, click on add local camera. We can click on the OBS virtual camera. We see now that the output of OBS is inside stage 10. We can drag that. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll take a full, a full screen layout. We'll drag the video element in there and then go live. So the output of OBS, which is, you know, here, um, we're not, we're not rendering it into a video really, right? Like we're not recording, we're not streaming it. We're simply using the virtual camera, but we're bringing it into stage 10. And now stage 10 is using that as the output and the guests in stage 10 now see the output of OBS. And the latency that the guests see is really rather small. Okay, so it's under a, a second of latency. Now we can, we still need to address a few other issues. Um, if you want to bring your camera in, you can bring your local camera in to um, OBS and share that into stage 10, or you can bring your local camera into stage 10. Um, but you won't have it available within OBS then, unless you have a virtual camera installed like Snap Camera, which lets you have the camera open in both the browser and in OBS at the same time. Okay, uh, that's a little bit of a tangent though. The only thing we need to really address now is if when we're doing this sort of approach of using the OBS virtual camera in stage 10 is audio. So what we'll need to do is we need to include the audio of the guests um, kind of 
in the scene. So I put guest one in audio slot one and guest two in audio slot two, and I go live. So I'm not bringing the video into the mixer, I'm bringing just their audio in. And now the guests will hear uh, the conversation. The system is smart enough so guest one does not hear themselves and guest two does not hear themselves. So it has a built-in mix minus system. So by including the guests who are in the scene in the audio uh, slots down here in this four slots, the guests can still converse. And if you do want to bring audio in from OBS, for example, you can drop that in. Now they can hear the OBS audio. You'll just want to make sure that whatever audio you create in OBS and bring in to stage 10, you want to exclude the browser uh, source audio. And you, you can do that um, by going to the advanced audio mixer and not including the browser sources with the monitor out. The monitor output you want to leave that monitor off uh, but for any source you want going back into stage 10 you select monitor and output and then uh, here in the audio settings you select uh, uh, you select your monitoring device to be a virtual audio cable and then you select that device inside stage 10 okay uh, that's a little bit complicated. You don't need to worry about that. Um, simply letting you know that whatever you want to do on that front, you can do. Um, so I hope that explains how we can use the solo links within um, stage 10 to bring guest sources into OBS. This allows you to create a secondary production inside OBS at high quality, 4K video potentially, uh, and publish however you want um, using OBS, but using Stage 10 as a guest management portal where guests can still talk and you get the mix minus audio functionality through Stage 10. Or you can go a little more advanced and actually start mix and matching uh, and combining the two functionalities. So OBS can actually be the source of the output to stage 10. In another upcoming video, what I'll do is I'll show you how you can take the, the final output of stage 10. If you choose to mix in stage 10, you can bring that into OBS, apply overlays and publish out. You can also use the output of stage 10 to embed into your own website, WordPress blog, private website, or I'll even show you how you can bring sources from OBS into Video Ninja and include them as a uh, mesh cast alternative, let's call it. So you can get all the functionality of Video Ninja uh, in terms of its director controls, potentially, um, but use stage 10 as the source or as the broadcast output. Uh, again, I'll save that for another video, but there's quite a bit we can do with Stage 10. And uh, although it's not peer-to-peer -peer and it's a server-based system, it is running on Google Cloud Premium Network. So it has the very best network uh, available, ensuring the highest quality and lowest latency of any server-based solution out there. Okay, so thank you for watching and uh, until next time.